What was that like? Is that to me that was the most bizarre was the Twitter files when you let Schellenberger yeah. and Matt Taibbi and all those guys get in the Twitter and the, the response where Matt Taibbi gets audited. I mean, which is just wild. I mean, it's just so blatant and so in your face. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, the, the degree to which, and, and by, by the way, Jack didn't really know, know this, but the degree to which Twitter was simply um, an arm of the government was not well understood by the public. And uh, it, it was, there was no, it was whatever the official government, I mean, it was like Pravda, basically. Um, you know, it's a state publication is the way to think of old Twitter. It was a state publication. And was the justification from their perspective that they are progressive liberals, they have the right intentions, it's important that they stay in power, the progressive liberals stay in government and power, because this is, the, this is their... There, there, was, there was basically oppression of um, any, any views that would even, I would say, be considered middle of the road. Um, but certainly anything on the, the right, I'm not talking about like, like far right, I'm just talking mildly right. The people like Republicans were suppressed at 10 times the rate of Democrats. Um, now, that's because uh, old Twitter was fundamentally controlled by the far left. It was like completely controlled by the, the, the far left. Psychological analysis. My Dewayi, in the realm of social media, typified by Twitter, there is a growing concern about the power of influence and manipulation. These concerns impact our trust in shared information, the transparency of these platforms and the influence of government control. When Elon Musk highlighted a mysterious connection between Twitter and government entities, it raised apprehensions across the digital landscape. This lack of clarity can sow seeds of doubt and confusion among social media users, affecting their access to unfiltered information. Drawing a comparison between Twitter and Pravda, a state-run publication, raises significant questions about social media's role in shaping public discourse. Concerns arise about the potential use of these analogies for propaganda, information control, and their subtle impact on users' thoughts. The core issue lies in the complexity of truth and authenticity in the digital social media landscape. This complexity deepens when specific voices are silenced on these platforms especially when it appears to target a particular political faction, as pointed out by Elon Musk. This phenomenon reinforces confirmation bias and creates echo chambers, limiting the diversity of political perspectives and hindering the free exchange of ideas. Considering these factors, transparency and accountability are crucial in the social media world. The prevailing concern revolves around the potential consequences of the lack of transparency in managing platforms like the original Twitter and how it affects trust and authenticity. What do you think?